first thing you want to do is open up a web browser to collect some pictures. Uh, I would recommend using Safari. I like Google Chrome and Firefox better, but for this, Safari is better, and I'll show you why. So open Safari up, and let's say you are going to search for the, something in the Qin Dynasty. The Qin Dynasty is actually spelled Q-I-N, and I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. Okay, uh, we're going to click on Images, and we've got lots of Qin Dynasty images. We've got one of the famous emperors, the clay soldiers, maps, coins, and lots of good stuff. So let's say you want a picture of the clay soldiers. This is a good one. When you click on this, and then from here you click on full size image, you double click, and it says add image to iPhoto library. If you click on this, and it should deposit this right into your library. Um, you got lots of ways to look at this. You can scroll down through your whole library and it should be at the bottom and there it is. You can also go to last import right here or in the last month and it's right here. Uh, but up here in the, in the photos is the main place. Now what you want to do is you want to create an album. So we can click on this and go to create album and we can call this album down here China book now every time you get a new picture we will simply take it and drag that picture we'll use this one for example and drop it into that album so when we click on it it's there when you have all the pictures you want to use to make your book, you will select the album or grab all the pictures like this. You can't just select one. You got to grab them all or click on the album and then we will go to create book. It's going to ask you a few things about what you want a hard cover, a soft cover, a wire bound. That doesn't really matter. So we'll just stick with hard cover and you can pick uh, different colors right here. Uh, and that doesn't really matter either. You can change a lot of that later on. Because every theme is going to have a different set of possible layouts for the page. Okay, you can see these options change. And this one allows you to have up to seven photos and still have an area to write a description. So this shows you some of the options you're going to have. And you can do your, you can kind of scroll through, through here. This is a photo essay. Here's something we called Modern Lines. Again, you got to be patient with a lot of this stuff. It's a big program. It takes a while to work, so don't be all click crazy. Just be patient. It'll go. Now, here's where it's important. What you need to do here is you need to choose the layout of, of the book. So here's the front cover. Here is the flap that would fold around the cover. Here is your first uh, inside cover and the first page. <clears throat> if I double-click on this, and each page will have a different layout option. I can choose colors or other options right here. So let's go to a regular page with pictures. Okay, you can see this is a four, five, six, seven picture page. Well, we can change the layout uh, to be one with two photos. But what you're going to need to do is go one photo because that gives you options to write words with your photo. We can even go and change the photos and drag this to here and do that. We can change the zoom and you can find which of the view you want. Now this is probably not a very good layout for this page so um, we can choose a different one up here, like this. This is a little better. And you can type in your description right here. Okay, when you're done with your book and every page has writing on it somewhere where you're explaining what we're looking at, like the one you see here, and you've got a good cover picked out, and everything's all set, and you're ready to turn this into a PDF file. That's a little complicated, but what you do is you go up to File and Print. 
Now the screen that this brings up is going to allow you to turn this into a PDF file. Down here at the bottom, PDF, we're going to save as PDF.